Your SP has to conform if you fucking let them. Hey everyone, it's Kim Velez, Conscious Life and Success Coach and Licensed Mental Health Therapist. Before we dive in and talk about that your SP has to conform, I want to do some quick announcements. So first and foremost, if you feel like you want additional support, I don't give anything uh, or I don't like hide stuff. I give everything away on my free content channels. Um, I have my podcast, this channel, and I have my uh, free Facebook group. The links are in the description box below. But if you feel like you want a little bit more support or structure or something like that, then I do have paid services. So I have an amazing paid Facebook group. It's 30 bucks a month and there's some amazing success stories in there already. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video because it pertains to it. But I also have um, a manifest your specific person back and keep them online course that I just made um, with fresh content of my own transformation. And since I have my person back in my life too, it's a perfect time to do it. Um, and also the link is in the description below. I also have my email coaching that I just started again and I'm having super fun with that. So if you want to go ahead and access that, the link is in the description box below as well. And if you want to follow me on IG, I have the link down there too. I had an IG account like a year ago and I just never did anything with it, but now I'm on it. And it's really just like rants and tips and some personal stuff. So you get to know me a little bit more behind the scenes, nothing crazy, but if you feel like following, go ahead and check it out. Okay. Now let's get down to business. So, Oh, this SP journey, this SP journey. <laughs> okay. Your SP has to conform to the version that you want to experience if you allow it. So what does that mean? That means this, you're the God of your reality. Your consciousness is your reality. There is nothing else that you even need to worry about except what the fuck is going on up in here. And your person and everybody else in your life has to conform to the assumptions and the thoughts that you hold dominant about who you say they are and who you say you are. So when you assume they don't want me, they don't miss me, they don't care about me, they don't want to be in a relationship with me, they don't love me, then what you're doing is two things. You are judging yourself because you're saying they don't all these things about them because why? That means what? You're not good enough for them to pick you. You're not good enough for them to want you. You're not good enough for them to commit to you. So you're, you're having a concept of self that's pretty low standard and that you don't get what you want, right? And you're assuming them to be this version of them that they have to conform to. For those of you that were involved with someone who was like head over heels, you know, would go to the moon and back for you and then change because you changed internally first, right? You, you already had the experience of interacting um, with them, different versions of them. So you created those versions. So they're only conforming to what you say. And this is the power of who you are. And this is why you're God of your reality. And this is why you're the operant power. This is why your consciousness is your reality. Whatever you say in here is what has to happen out here. There is no other, there, there's nothing else to even conceive of. It just doesn't work any other way. So when you understand that, when you really like get everyone as you push out and really understand that nothing is separate from me and that my consciousness is really dictating what the fuck I'm experiencing in my life. And so when I keep holding a story of who my SP is that isn't favorable to me, they fucking have to conform. The ones that loved you, the ones that came in head over heels over you, unfortunately had to conform to the version that you held them to in your consciousness. So all you have to do 
is understand what am I thinking about them and what am I thinking about myself? And then you change it. So the part of the self, right? Changing your self concept in my paid Facebook group, we just started a 21 day challenge. And these women had shifts in their reality like that and like a day, two days of it being reflected back to them, the new, the new thought pattern they're experiencing from multiple people, even their SPs. So like, this is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Change your story about you. Be, I am a valued, loved, cherished girlfriend. I am a valued, loved, cherished boyfriend. The men in my reality love me and always commit to me and freely choose me above anyone else. You could, men, you could say that about women, whatever floats your boat, right? And change the story of who you are because they have to conform to that. So the man or woman in your life will see you as the same. Whoa, this is girlfriend material. Oh my God, I value her. Wow, she's fucking amazing, right? Whatever story you have about who you are, whatever you know, thought patterns that are dominant about who you are, everyone else has to reflect that back to you. They have to conform to that version. They have to see you the same way. That is the fucking law. So it's, and then your concept of them has to change. It's not going to be anymore that they don't want me. They don't care about me, blah, blah, blah. It's, they love me. They're head over heels in love with me. They're excited to see me. You know, I'm their favorite person. I'm their best friend, whatever the fuck you want. You need to reaffirm that. And they have to conform to that version that you're holding them to. But here's where most people screw up. And I know, cause I used to do this. We don't hold that version long enough or hold that, you know, reality in our consciousness long enough to allow it to unfold and for them to conform fully into that version. We cut it at the fucking knees. So we start affirming or maybe even visualizing and then they come in or they're being sweet again or whatever, right? We see a shift, something in our favor. And then the minute there's a little hiccup, we go right back to the old concept of who we are. They don't want me. I'm not good enough. I'm not valued. And then we go right back to, they don't want me. Nothing's changing. Look, it's the same bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And then they have to conform to that version. So which version do you want to win? I'm opting for the version where I get what I want. So that, that's, that's the fucking thing that I'm sticking to. But this is the work, right? This is, this is really all you have to do is your mental diet. The mental diet is so undervalued. And for me, that was the biggest thing too, is like, fuck man, this is how shit comes in quick. And when you are going in between, it's not about eradicating every negative thought because fucking good luck with that. It's about understanding that your consciousness creates your reality. Your thoughts create your reality. So it's your dominant thought patterns. So what are you focusing on when you look at your life and there's things you want to change, especially with your SP fucking reaffirm when any thought pops in your mind that is opposing to what it is you want, or it's against what it is that you want. You can't entertain it. You have to say, no, thank you, boo going over here. Cause this is what I want to experience. And then you reaffirm I don't care if it's a million times a day. I say this all the time. Like you have to discipline your mind. You have to stop being lazy. You have to love yourself enough to put the fucking effort in and say, you know what? Fuck that. I am God of my reality. I'm the operant power. I want to fucking have a dope ass relationship with this person. So this is what the fuck I need to be affirming. I don't give a fuck what's showing up because I know and understand everyone as you pushed out. I know and understand Neville Goddard's interpretation, which he's dead fucking on. I know and understand law of assumption. I know and understand that my consciousness creates reality. So I know and understand that whatever thought pattern I'm holding on to, that person has to conform to that. So I'm going to keep holding on to the thoughts that I get what the fuck I want. And that's it. It really is that simple. And I'm not going to be checking 3D every five minutes because it doesn't matter. They have to conform to the version that you're holding them to. So hold them to a higher version. And you're really, you know, you're kind of uplifting them in a way too. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us have negative thoughts and judgments about people we care about in our life and, and not like to be mean. It's just natural. Like I had one with my SP where I was like, he loves drama. He's always around drama because it didn't have anything to do with me. It was about him and his life, but I held him to that version. So guess who always had fucking drama? 
And then it clicked to me and I'm like, oh my God, why am I holding him to that? I, want, I don't want him to have stress. I don't want him to have drama, right? So I had to go in my mind and change my concept of him and say, he prefers peace and harmony and he's drama free. He ha no longer has drama in his life. He's adverse to drama. And I'm holding him to that version and the drama starting to slowly leave his life. And he's starting to not even, you know, want to even entertain that bullshit anymore. So like, we're that powerful. We are that powerful. You are the God of your reality. What you believe and the vision you hold, these people have to conform to that vision, but you can't give up. You have to hold the vision or the version of them that you want to experience. You can't just say, ah, oh, fuck it. When, you know, a week goes by and you don't hear from them or a week goes by and now they're, you, they were texting you and now they're not, you still hold the version of them that you want to experience because it has to harden into fact and it will fully completely manifest in your 3d. If you stick to it, that is what the mental diet is because you can't sit there and visualize once in a fucking while. And then all day long, you're dwelling in opposing thoughts because your thoughts are what create and it fucking creates faster than a visualization. In my opinion, you visualize naturally anyways, when you're affirming, um, so, and I'm going to give you an example to prove that. So, oh my gosh, yesterday I was walking by the beach and the sky was so blue and the sun was out and the waves were just crashing and the water was like this beautiful green, bluish color. It was so pretty and the sun was just golden and amber and it was just so gorgeous. And I had like, you know, this red balloon that I was walking with and it was like, you know, flying up high in the sky. Okay. How many of you visualize that scene in your mind as I was speaking that to you? So when you are saying things to yourself, you will naturally visualize. We na that's natural manifestation. So if you're affirming all day long, when you think of them in a way that's not favorable for you and you change it up and say no, and you have your little mantras about what you want to experience, how you're creating the version of them that you want, you will have imagery with them. I know my mantras, I see his face in it. Like I, there's little scenes that just automatically come up with he and I. So you, you don't have to visualize if you don't want to, you certainly can, it's not gonna hurt it. I'm just letting you know that your thoughts are what create. It's really that simple. And that's why I've been on this fucking kick because I'm like, fuck man, we don't gotta do all this bullshit out there that they're telling us to do with this law of attraction bullshit. Part of me, listen, I had some beef with Joseph Ally in his comment section. I don't even know, like eight months ago arguing, I think it was over the word vibration or I can't even remember alignment or vibration. And I'm like, cause I didn't fucking get it. He got it. I didn't fucking get it. I was so brainwashed from the law of attraction community for over 10 fucking years that I believed it was all about the vibration and frequency and all this shit. Right? So now I fucking get it. So I'm actually thinking of reaching out to him and just saying, dude, you were right. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm a grown woman. I can do that because he's right. <laughs> Except you don't got to do sats. <laughs> that was Neville's personal thing. We all like to do our own little thing. But the point of this is this. They have to conform to you, my love. So what the fuck do you want? And just stay focused on that and give them the opportunity to recreate into that version that you want to experience. Like that's how you're going to get it. And you just affirm and stick to that no matter what. And remember who the fuck you are. You're the God of your reality. You are the operant power. Everything you want is created in here. You just got to maintain it and hold it steady. You can't be, you know, going back and forth so much. You can go a little bit as long as, you know, you're steadily holding the version of them that you want to experience to allow it to actually manifest in your 3D. So that's all I have for today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's definitely get this message out because listen, I'm fucking, I got my SP back and I'm getting the shit this time. I'm gonna tell you right now, mark my fucking words. So I'm on this journey with you all. Let's do this shit. Let's be millionaires. Let's whatever, create the best versions of people coming in our life. Let's get the love of our fucking lives in here and get everything we want because there's no fucking reason why we can't. That's all I got. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.